This tutorial is about how to use the loft feature. Open SOLIDWORKS and choose part as your file type. Now a loft is a feature that creates a shape by making multiple transitions between sketch profiles, so we need to have sketches on several different planes. You can see in the feature manager that we have three planes already, but we will need parallel planes to create our loft. I'm going to make the top plane visible by left clicking and choosing show, and now I can create my extra planes. There are two different ways to create new planes. The quickest way is to hold down the control key on the keyboard, then left click and drag the edge of one existing plane. When you release your mouse, the plane feature manager will appear. I am going to set the distance between these planes to 100mm. You can now see plane 1 in the feature manager and it is preset to show. The second way to create a new plane is to hover your mouse next to SOLIDWORKS to activate the flyout menu. Choose Insert and then Reference Geometry and click on Plane to open the Feature Manager. We need to choose a reference for our plane. Plane 1 is an appropriate choice for this loft and like before we can enter an offset dimension. We now have three parallel planes. By changing the view by tapping Spacebar to activate the orientation box, you can see how the planes are stacked on top of each other. To create a loft, we need a sketch on each plane. On the sketch ribbon, click Sketch and then select a plane to draw your sketch on. It's a good idea to locate your sketches around the origin. You can draw any shape you like, but for this tutorial I am going to use squares. Exit the sketch when you are done and then repeat this process on the other two planes. Now the sketches are complete, you can see how they align with each other. It's now time to loft apart using the sketches as a guide. On the feature ribbon, click on Lofted Boss Base. In the feature manager, we need to add the sketches into the profile box. Because the sketches act as a guide, it is really important where on the sketch you click. I will show you three different lofted parts, all from the same three sketches. The first loft has a slight anti-clockwise twist. I can change the sketch profile by editing the part, selecting the sketches and deleting them. The second loft has untwisted sides. And the third loft twists right the way around. The final step is to hide the planes by left clicking and choosing Hide. Now it's your turn to experiment with lofts. Don't forget to save your work.